Hi, I'm Lynn McMullen, the Executive Director of the Peace Alliance, and I want to start really to thank you for this opportunity to speak with you. I don't know if you're watching this on your computer screen, on a video, or you're at a party and listening to this video, but I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to. So who are we, the Peace Alliance? So this is a background about the culture. We live kind of on this amazing cusp and um, between the problem and the solutions at hand. So um, Who Are We is a network of people who are committed to building the infrastructure to take solutions to scale societally. So what does that look like? Well, we're active in all 50 states. We have volunteers. We organize. We're an advocacy network. We're actually working in partnership with our governments to cause, you might say, an evolution toward peace, a big giant steps forward. And so we work with our state government, our city government, but primarily focus on our national body, the Congress. And what we're doing is we're actually lobbying for the existence of the um, Department of Peace as one giant piece of legislation. But in addition, we're lobbying for small, smaller pieces that would actually fund the replication of successful programs and expansion of successful programs in key areas. That would be peace building on the ground in war zones so that our soldiers are less likely to be killed and less likely to need to kill. And then it would also include things like getting children to quit gangs and get job training and get mentorship so they can become successful and productive. So these are the kinds of programs that we're looking to be, you might say, champions for, to bring to public awareness and congressional priority lists. I think that the news media and the pop culture give us a particular view of who we are as a species. And I would think if you watch it very much, you know, and I'm talking now about television or videos or, you know, magazines, read newspapers, what you would take away if you were an alien is that this is a very selfish, foolish, greedy, and violent species. And that just doesn't match my experience of real human beings. The, the culture, the media, shows that to us constantly, but that is not what's mostly going around, along. You know, you leave a grocery store, there's no robbery, there are people helping each other with their groceries, there are children being helped in, people stopping, making sure the kids are safe. It's like the whole community has far more compassion and generosity than it has a, a streak of violence. Um, you know, for the last, really, for centuries, really, but let's just take the last 50 years, our government and our nation has spent billions and trillions, trillions, which is such a big number, it's not even something we can comprehend, of dollars on the hardware and software of defense. And I am not trying to say we don't have a violent streak. As a species, we have a violent streak. The history of it is clear. But we also have a generous and compassionate streak, and we have not invested in how to cultivate it, to nurture it, to bring it out of each other. Everything that gets funded by our federal government is done so because there are well-funded, well-established, professional lobbyists working on behalf of particular industries to make that happen. And so uh, what we're doing, what, how the Peace Alliance fits into that is we see ourselves as the missing constituency that will all actually allow us to build the infrastructure as a nation, that will actually make this a priority of the U.S. Congress. By but the bottom line is that today, your member of Congress met with a number of people, and they met on behalf of the constituency that they're hired to serve. There is no constituency for kids to stay out of gangs because there is no economically driven aspect to it that's readily going to serve someone. But as we begin to invest in these programs that reduce the cultural violence, all of us will be economic beneficiaries, both at the federal, t the cost of our taxes, and at the human costs in our communities. So we are, in a sense, that network. We work to build the constituency base that will allow for us as a nation to invest in the infrastructure that will build us a culture of peace. And that's what we're so excited about.